Most audio interfaces, both large and small, offer connections for different input types. There are three kinds of different input connections optimized for incoming audio signals at different levels. Line level, mic level, and instrument level. These signals will usually need different amounts of gain, and the input circuitry needs to be designed to handle signals cleanly at the expected level, avoiding potential overloads or excess noise. Also, each of these different signal types requires a different input impedance to ensure optimal voltage transfer between source and input. With modern equipment, that means an input impedance around 10 times the output impedance. Line level is for signals already at the standard operating level, plus 4 dBU for pro-level gear. Little gain is required, just enough for fine-tuning, and input impedance is usually around 10 kiloohms or higher. A mic level input, as in a mic pre, is optimized to handle the lower level output from a microphone and typically provides 50 to 60 dB of gain or so to bring those signals up to line level. Since most mics have output impedance in the 200 ohm range, more or less, a mic input should have a lower input impedance, around 2 kilo ohms or so. Many of the better mics are very sensitive to this, and some mic pre's have switchable input impedances. Instrument level is specifically for the direct output from an electric guitar or bass, like a DI box. This also requires a lot of gain, and for the best signal transfer, a very high input impedance of around a mega ohm is usually provided. But take note, even though line level and instrument level inputs usually both utilize quarter inch jacks, they're not equivalent and shouldn't be mixed and matched.